there, future nurse. Now, I know I'm getting ahead of myself here, but I bet you'll like this video. And if you do, be sure to head to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube for way more content than you can get here. And you can sign up for free. Let's talk about changing tracheostomy ties. First, gather all supplies, then wash your hands and don gloves. Use scissors to cut dirty trach ties or unlock the Velcro from the soft trach ties, one side only. Then clean the skin around the trach ties with saline and gauze. Inspect the area for redness, discharge, or even skin breaks. Insert the new trach tie through the opening of the trach plate. Then gently pull the trach ties behind the neck. Then remove the trach ties from the other side of the neck and insert the trach tie through the opening of the trach plate and tie a knot or use the Velcro closure to secure the trach tie. You should be able to insert two fingers between the side of the neck so that the trach is secure but not too tight. Upon completion, remove gloves and perform hand hygiene. Here's the steps for tracheostomy suctioning. First, gather supplies and wash your hands. Then don gloves. Suction pressure should not exceed 150 millimeters of mercury for most clients. Always pre-oxygenate with 100% oxygen prior to suctioning to reduce the risk of hypoxemia. Dip the tip of the catheter in the basin of sterile water to help with insertion of the catheter. The catheter should be introduced to the desired depth to the tip of the trachea for shallow suctioning. Passing the end of the tube is considered deep suctioning. Then occlude the suction port with a glove thumb and suction continuously while pulling the tube out. Remember, gently turn and remove the catheter. This whole process should take no longer than 10 seconds. If there's a need for repeat suctioning, make sure the heart rate and oxygen levels are stable between suctioning episodes. Upon completion, reattach any oxygen to the client if indicated, then remove gloves and perform hand hygiene. Let's review the steps for tracheostomy tube cleaning. Wash your hands thoroughly, then don gloves. Open the tracheostomy care kit and arrange the contents conveniently. Unlock the inner cannula and slide it outward and down. Soak the cannula in one part hydrogen peroxide and three parts saline. This will help remove secretions. Wait for the foaming to stop before cleaning. Use the small brush to clean the inner cannula both inside and outside. Rinse the inner cannula with water or saline. Remove excess water and reinsert the inner cannula into place. Make sure to lock the inner cannula in place and upon completion, remove gloves and perform hand hygiene. Looking to cut your study time in half? Head on over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube. You can sign up for free and get access to all of this.